Injecting diamonds into the atmosphere, a bold plan to cool the earth, injecting diamond particles into the atmosphere has recently emerged as a geoengineering strategy aimed at cooling the planet through the use of aerosols. However, this proposal, like many geoengineering ideas, has sparked considerable debate regarding its practicality and potential risks, cooling the earth with aerosols, in October, a team of Swiss scientists proposed injecting 5 million tons of diamond particles into the stratosphere annually to lower Earth's temperature by 1.6 degrees Celsius. Published in Geophysical Research Letters, this study has stirred controversy within the scientific community due to its ambitious goals and potential side effects. The idea takes inspiration from volcanic eruptions, which have historically demonstrated cooling effects on Earth. When volcanoes erupt, they release large amounts of sulfur dioxide into the stratosphere. This gas interacts with water vapor to create aerosols, which reflect sunlight and cool the planet temporarily. For example, the 1991 eruption of Mount Pinatubo in the Philippines cooled the global climate by approximately 0.5 degrees Celsius over the next few years, why diamonds? This method of cooling through aerosols typically involves sulfur dioxide. However, sulfur dioxide can form sulfuric acid in the atmosphere, leading to acid rain, ozone depletion, and disrupted weather patterns. To avoid these risks, Sandro Vattioni and his team from the Swiss Federal Institute of Technology, ETH Zurich, explored alternatives. Their findings revealed that diamond particles may be a better option because they reflect sunlight effectively without the negative impacts associated with sulfur. Using a 3D climate model, the researchers examined how different materials, such as sulfur dioxide, aluminum, calcite, and diamond, would interact in the atmosphere. Diamond particles were found to float rather than clump, making them an ideal aerosol for cooling without the risk of acid rain or major atmospheric disruptions. To achieve the desired temperature drop, the researchers estimate that 5 million tons of diamond dust would need to be distributed annually in the atmosphere. This would require an increase in synthetic diamond production, as well as a fleet of planes to disperse the particles across the stratosphere, cost and practicality challenges, while diamond dust appears promising. It faces significant obstacles. Douglas Mac Martin, an engineering science expert at Cornell University, points out that diamond aerosols would come with an immense price tag. A ton of synthetic diamonds currently costs around $500,000, making diamond dust roughly 2,400 times more expensive than sulfur. Deploying diamonds in this manner from 2035 to 2100 could cost an estimated $175 trillion. Sulfur, in comparison, is abundant and inexpensive. It can be deployed in gaseous form which disperses more efficiently and does not require as much logistical support as solid particles like diamond dust. Mac Martin suggests sulfur as the most viable choice for large-scale aerosol injection if geoengineering were to be implemented today. Other geoengineering alternatives, apart from atmospheric aerosols, various geoengineering solutions are being explored. Researchers at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology MIT, have proposed fertilizing the ocean to cool the planet. Plankton, a fundamental part of the marine ecosystem, can absorb CO2 during photosynthesis. Certain plankton species also release dimethyl sulfide, which forms aerosols in the atmosphere, helping to cool the air. To stimulate plankton growth, scientists propose dispersing iron sulfate and other nutrients into the ocean, which could support this natural cooling process. Another concept involves launching large mirrors into space to reflect sunlight away from Earth. However, while this solution could reduce solar radiation, it would not address other climate change factors, such as ocean acidification from greenhouse gases. Furthermore, the mirrors could disrupt weather patterns, impacting rainfall, wind, and cloud formation globally. A further approach suggests spreading iron powder in the Pacific Ocean to boost plankton growth. This would help capture CO2 from the atmosphere, theoretically reducing greenhouse gases. However, increased iron levels could deplete nutrients for other marine organisms, potentially disturbing the ocean's delicate ecosystem, 
the risks and ethical concerns of geoengineering. Despite these diverse proposals, geoengineering remains controversial due to the potential for unintended consequences. Altering the atmosphere or oceans on a large scale could trigger complex climate reactions that are difficult to predict, and the financial cost could divert resources from emissions reduction strategies. Many scientists caution against large-scale geoengineering without a comprehensive understanding of its impacts and advocate for focusing resources on reducing carbon emissions to address climate change more sustainably. Thank you for watching the video. I hope the above knowledge will help you in life. Remember to like and subscribe to the channel to watch more interesting videos. Goodbye.